But let me digress just a little to something Einstein once said, so it must be true. We are all born with magnificent brains, which formal education then slowly destroys. <laughs> I wonder if we are within sight of being able to break that pattern, because we may soon be able to shape the technology to the brain rather than force the brain to conform to the technology. And speaking of brains, nobody in neurophysiology today would disagree that this 100 billion neuron thing inside your skull is massively bigger and more complex than the ludicrously limited things we have made it do up to now in order to prove what we call intelligence. With 100 billion neurons, each potentially connecting with 50,000 dendrites, each potentially connecting with another 50,000 dendrites, the total potential number of ways a signal can go through the brain is more than the number of atoms in the known universe. And everybody has one. This may be why you are capable of solving the extraordinarily difficult problem of understanding me. <laughs> I'm not talking about accent. You're the ones with the accent. I mean, if you take this speak-listen event going on between you and me now, there is no time, is there, for you to hear what I'm saying, go into some kind of lexicon of sounds in your head, find the sound I just made, stick it on the end of the last few sounds I made, see that it makes sense and come back out and listen for the next one, because if all you were searching in there was a, lex a lexicon the size of the average high school graduate's vocabulary of 12,500 words, there are 414,812 in the language, something's wrong. <laughs> If all you were doing was that, then at one millisecond per act of neural retrieval, you'd be taking 12 and a half seconds to get each word I'm saying. And you're not, are you? Good. <laughs> so what are you doing? You're running multiple scenarios ahead of me, using the syntax and the grammar and the content of what I've said so far to power up all the probable sounds I'll make next, and then powering the ones you got wrong down as I come on through and repeating the process for as long as I utter sounds. So in one sense, of course, what that means is you are all giving this speech before I am. <laughs> and any other speech I might have given... And anything that anybody might say before, during, or after this event, one wonders why you came. <laughs> but this basic ability everyone has to run programs simultaneously and in all directions in order to bring data together in new ways and cause one and one to make three turns out to be why brains like jokes. Apparently you laugh because the fundamental job of the brain is to make connections. I knew that was a good title. <laughs> to use its interconnectivity to be creative by bringing together things that were never brought together that way before.